To get data into and out of a JavaScript file in Notch, we simply need to add a global inputs and global outputs. For Notch to know which variables to use, we need to declare them at the beginning of the code. So that's what these two variables are doing here. The variable I want to overwrite or input is a string. So I'm going to add a global input string. You'll see that a new property has been added to the property window and a new input has been added to the node in the node graph. To get Notch to use the right variable in the JavaScript code, we just need to double click the property in the property window to edit the property name. And then make sure that we use the exact same variable name that we want to override. I'm going to do this by just copying and pasting. For the variable we want to read or output, the process is much the same. I'll add a global output, double click to edit the variable name, and paste in the variable from JavaScript. Now our JavaScript node is set up. You can see that when I edit the string property, the value property edits too. I can now connect a text string node to the JavaScript input, and that will now control this string in property. You can see that updates the value property. But to get any data out of the JavaScript node, I need to go through an extractor. So I'm going to take the output of the JavaScript node and connect it to the extractor. And then within the extractor, select the envelope source that I want to use. Now you can see, as I edit the text string, the extractor updates too. Thank <laughs> you.